Okay, uh, I will be teaching you how to add and subtract fractions quickly in your head. Um, this trick is a little bit complicated, but not too bad. Uh, most of you are probably used to just making a common denominator and then solving the problem that way. The problem with that is that's very inefficient. So I'm going to show you a quicker way, and it deals with cross multiplication. Here's what you're going to do. You're going to multiply the numerator of the first number times the denominator of the second number. 1 times 4 is 4. You're going to multiply the denominator and the numerator of the other part. Plus 2 times 3 is 6. You're going to put that all over 2 times 4. And you end up with 10 over 8, which simplifies to 5 fourths. Now go ahead and leave it as an improper fraction. There's nothing wrong with improper fractions. In fact, in uh, higher level math, we tend to like improper fractions more than mixed numbers. So let's see this trick again with subtraction. Just like before, you multiply across 3 times 3. <laughs> So 3 times 3 is 9. 8 times 1 is 8. Now this time, since you're subtracting, you're going to subtract there. Over. 8 times 3 is 24. And you end up with 9 minus 8 is 1 24th. Pretty simple. Now for our last trick, this is a version of this, but they want the inverse of the answer. 1 over x basically means inverse or flip the uh, answer upside down. So you're going to solve this problem just like before, but at the end you're going to flip your answer upside down. So let's do the same thing. 2 times 5 is 10. And since it's plus, we're going to put a plus there. 3 times 2 is 6. Over 3 times 5 is 15. And we end up with 16 fifteenths, which would be our answer if we were just adding. But since we have an inverse here, we want to flip this answer upside down. So we end up with 15 sixteenths. And there's the uh, adding and subtracting fractions trick, which can be found on page 22 of your workbook.